Okay, okay na. I guess okay na. Hello once again guys, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, before we start, or before anything else, let's first check if everything is good. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. 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 yes, we can hear you. Loud and clear. Yes. How about uh, this presentation? Yes. Can, you, can you see the screen all right? Yes. 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 Okay, so I am already seeing your responses on the screen. So we are ready and good to go. So however, before I proceed, um, before we proceed further to the webinar, I would like to request again from the participants to Please uh, free yourselves from any uh, distractions or whatsoever is that that can't bother you. And please put all your focus sa ating webinar. And before again I forget, I would like to introduce myself. I am Francisco Abindanyo, your moderator for today's webinar. And uh, a gentle reminder to everyone, please uh, stay until the end of this webinar para po mabigyan tayo o mabigyan kayo ng certificates. Diba? Oo. Yung sanitation yung parang disinfect. Oo. Parang krisa na ba yun? Yun na yun. Aside from hangout. Nagapunin ka ba sa ito? Wag ka mo Guys, can we mute lang po yung ating mic? So aside from hangouts, we are also um in a live broadcast through Facebook and let me take this opportunity to promote our uh, Facebook page kindly like and follow the DICT field operations office region 7 and region 8 Visayas cluster 2 for you to be updated to the latest happenings or the latest events and the activities in our department. And at this point in time, I would like to acknowledge our uh, very youthful, dynamic, and very supportive uh, director, Engineer Leo Cipriano Orbistundo, who is watching with us right now, together with other coordinators of the DICT. So yesterday, we had uh, the webinar on Online Freelancing 101, where the speaker, Ms. Vic, shared to us her insights and experiences about the online freelancing. And this afternoon is another webinar about the digital certificate and signature. We're in, uh, ngayon now we are experiencing a health crisis. Most of us, especially uh, yung nasa government, uh, yung ating pong mga documents, it can be digitally signed. No? Kahit, kahit uh, hindi tayo mismo, personally yung nag-sign ng ating documents, but through digital signature, it can be honored uh, kahit sa um, establishment sa government. So later on, uh, you will learn things about that. And I would like uh, to inform you, and I am, in, I am encouraging you to please... Uh, like and follow our Facebook page and always uh, check para po maging updated kayo kasi aside from this uh, webinar, meron pa po kaming webinar or meron pa po kaming mga upcoming na, na webinars, maybe next week or the other weeks. So kindly stay tuned lang kayo sa aming uh, Facebook page. So I will not prolong anymore my talking because it's already... Uh, beyond two o'clock. Um, this time, I would like to re give you our uh, director for his uh, welcome remarks. Please help me welcome Engineer Leo Cipriano Orbistundo Jr.
Yes, uh, good afternoon, everyone. And uh, no way on my clap. Well, anyway, uh, good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon, uh, sir. Yes, good afternoon. Uh, this webinar we offered to you because uh, we wanted everyone to know what is uh, digital signature and what is in PKI. Because um, it's not that we have COVID 19 that we are doing this one or we're doing this one because of compliance. No, we're doing this one because I think this is the new normal right now. With this COVID-19, uh, uh, this lockdown might take long, hopefully not, God forbid. And we have we need to have business continuity in our works. Uh, this work from home, again, might take long, but we need to continue working not just for our office, but for the people of this country, uh, for those people that we are serving. Now, this digital signature is uh, already a, uh, what do you call that, a, a decade old uh, kind of thing. Uh, by virtue of uh, executive order number 810, of 2019, it was issued in the 15th of June of 2019 that all government agencies must use digital signature instead of a signature because this is very valid. Unfortunately, there are offices uh, who are not into this kind of thing. But we in the ICT, we are already using this one to sign our documents, important documents, because uh, this will give validity to every documents that we, assign, that we sign. Later on, um, the resource person will explain more what is the importance of this uh, PKI or digital signatures in all our dealings, in all those documents that we sign. Uh, right now, even our uh, purchase requests, our travel orders, our uh, certificates are signed using digital signatures. So this is very important to us especially for government uh, offices, government employees, to have this one. So just bear with us. Uh, not every one of us here used to have this webinar, but <laughs> this is the, again, this is the new norm. So hopefully we can learn a lot from this kind of webinar. And again, as Francis told uh, us a while ago, there will be coming more webinars related or uh, that can be used uh, in our work, uh, in our work from home kind of work, uh, just to have a business continuity and uh, we can continue serving our people. Thank you very much. Uh, God bless us all and good afternoon. Uh, thank you so much, Sir Leo. And uh, I am seeing uh, lot of questions here. Actually, meron po kaming, uh, if, if, meron po kaming hinandang avenue para sa question and answer portion. So I think uh, it could be better if you uh, will uh, take note lang muna sa inyong uh, questions and later on after maybe ng presentation ni ng ating presenter, ay pwede na po kayo doon magtanong ng inyong mga questions. So this time, I would like to uh, introduce to you our speaker of this webinar. So she is a Bachelor of Science in Computer Science graduate from the University of San Carlos, Cebu City, with a Master's of Information Systems in the University of the Philippines, Open University, Laguna. And she is currently the DICT Lady Provincial Officer, currently one of the public key infrastructure or PKI registration officer of the entire country, the DICT Rainmaker, and a superwoman. Friends, please all welcome, Ma'am Claire P. Fernandez. Yes. Thank you so much, Sir Franz. I will try to set up first my presentation. Give me a few seconds. Thank you, Saklap Club. Okay, can you see now my screen? Okay. 
So for those who came in late, we'd like to remind you to please uh, mute your microphone. And in the chat box, please type your full name, email address, and location for the initial attendance. So now, just sit back and relax. So this webinar is all about digital certificate and signature. So once again, as what Sir Hassan said, I'm deeply humbled. I'm Claire Fernandez. I'm the Provision Officer for Leyte. I'm based here in Tacloban City. So good afternoon. In Waray, I would say, maupay nga kolo pa ay matanan. But before I start my presentation, let me share this with you first. I got this from Miss Hazel from our Tech for Ed about the Google Digital Garage. I'm not sure if you've heard of this, but let, let me show you some details. I'm sure right now most of us are working from home or are staying at home, and we have this, we, we have, I mean, we have more time, so we can study more like, do these online courses. So we have here from, the, from Google. So the categories here are data and tech. So we have here sample like, understanding the basics of code up to machine learning crash course. Also in the digital marketing categories, we have the fundamentals of digital marketing. Hello to all the digital jobs, page training scholars, and the RIS scholars, welcome. We also have this one, then of course, up to connect with customers over mobile. And for career development, we have build confidence with self-promotion, and a lot more like there are 54 courses available for this category. So how can you access this Google Digital Garage? This can be accessed through the Tech for Ed platform. Yes. So to go there first, you have to visit www.techfored.gov.ph. You have to create your own Tech for Ed account. So if you have an existing email address, just register it there. You have to set your city. In my case, I'm right now here in Tacloban City and the barangay. So in my case, here it's Barangay Libertad. You can also set the address of your nearby tech for x center in your location if you have one. Next, you have to select the center. So just select any tech for x center that's near your place. For example, in my case here, it's DICT Provincial Training Center, Leyte Province. So there you have it, guys. Then once you're in, just go to eAssist, Google Digital Garage, then you get started. Okay, so let's now start. And I have a very important question for everyone. How do you know if your bags, shoes, or mobile phones are original, fake, or an imitation? Maybe you can share in the chat box. Okay, thank you for those who shared. So example, in my case, usually I would check the physical characteristics, right? This branded bags, even the shoes, there's a different kind of comfort, even the style. We have to check the quality of materials, like the tags, among others. What about for mobile phone? How will we know if a mobile phone is original or it's fake, just an imitation? I remember one time, my, my good friend, he told me, he requested me to buy a phone for him, and I was shocked that these mobile phones, they are so very cheap, I mean, the price. So when I double check, it's not an original, original, but it's just a, an imitation. So for example, in my case here, I have a Samsung smartphone. We have to check the international mobile equipment identity. By the way, I'm not endorsing Samsung, it's just my sample here. I hope you don't mind. So IMEI is a 15 or 17 digit code that uniquely identifies mobile phone sets. So just have to type uh, asterisk sharp 06 asterisk using the keypad. For example, in my case here, when I did that, I got this. So it gives me the details of the EMEI serial number and the serial number. So another question, I'm really sorry, you know, life is full of questions. So what about for physical documents? How will you know if it's fake, if it's forged, or if it's an original one? Of course, basically, I'm sure 
we're familiar with this one. For example, for the Philippine Statistics Authority, the documents are printed on SEPA or the security paper. Even the National Bureau of Investigation, they use the QR code, a quick response code in their clearance. Even notarized documents and diploma have seals. And of course, if you know that this sales, these seals are for validly, this means that it's validly executed, acknowledged, or witnessed. What about for data, digital, like for electronic documents? How will we know? So in this case here, I, we assume it's very difficult to do so. That's why, here's another question. How can we ensure that data and documents are safe, untampered, authentic, and secured during transmission over public networks such as the internet? So the Department of Information and Communications Technology encourages the public to avail of digital certificates to expedite and secure online work transactions. I remember earlier someone was asking if is this for everyone? Yes, as a private entity, you can have one. Not only for us, and take note, this is also free. And more notes, um, this webinar, the contents here, I got this partly from my five-day training in Cebu City, that was last year, so that's me, orange. And also here, last July 2015. Can you locate me there? Yes, I'm the one with the green polo shirt. Okay, so if you need more information about this webinar, you can always check out the Philippine National Public Infrastructure Details. It can be viewed here, https colon double slash dict.gov.ph slash pnpki. So, actually, the PKI, some applications that use this one are this, the authentication in web applications, electronic documents and forms signing, virtual private networks, wireless networks, email and instant messaging. But of course, for this webinar, I'll be specifically discussing with you electronic documents and form signing. You can also watch some PNPKI videos from the Department of ICT YouTube. Here we have seven videos, so you can check it out later also. The YouTube channel is, anyway, I'm sure you can just search it there, so here's the web address. And don't worry, we will be sharing with you our presentation. And to know more about our office, you can also visit https colon double slash dict.gov.ph. So, let's now try to see the issues. What issues do we have? No, marami problema, marami do issues. So, issue number one, two main steps. Is it not when we apply for a business permit? Marami siyang steps, no? Step one, up to, even up to step six. So we have it, so marami siyang steps. No, Nakaka-stress, it's time-consuming, tiresome, yeah. especially now, no, sa case natin ngayon, no? we, are, we are to stay up there. So, anong solusyon natin dito? Example here at DICT, we have this electronic business permit and licensing system. It is a software product and a web application that enables the LGUs or the local government units to process business permit applications electronically. Yan. Yan ang magandang solusyon. Another issue, long lines. Diba, pag, pag kukuha tayo ng NBI clearance, no, ang daming, ang daming tao, tas, we have this very long line, nakaka-stress na naman, tas, you need to return to pick it up, yung NBI clearance mo. So, ano solusyon dito? I'm sure we're very familiar Last April 1, 20... I'm clear. Someone else put the deer out again. No, no, no presentation. May na boot out na po ng presentation mo. Uh, I think you have to unpeak so them. Okay, I'll just check. I'll check. Um, no. uh, Theodora, um, Theodora Pakistan. Wala po presentation mo, ma'am. Uh-oh. I'll 
Ayan, nakita na ba? Sa mga So, thank you so much for being here. Pag may problema tayo, just uh, share, no? Kasi especially ako dito, feel na feel ko na mag-present, not knowing, iba na pala yung screen na nandiyan. So, anyway, let's continue. So, as I said earlier, last April 1, 2015, uh. NBI no longer entertains walk-ins as it implements a fully online application process for NBI clearance. Yan, maganda. And last issue, we have these fraud documents. Yan, di ba? Sa recto, grabe, no? We make comma, transcript, baptismal, birth certificate, any kind of ID. Grabe, pati signature, kaya ni Forge. And we also have, we accept rash order, rash job. Di ba sa atin, sa pagkukuha ng transcript of records, it will take us a month or two, especially sa mga, mga colleges. But doon, no, kahit less than an hour na dyan. Saka mura-mura pa. Made to order. Parang cake. Parang delivery lang ngayon, no? Made to order. Order ka kayo. So we have this one. And even the office of the, oops, of the ombudsman, they have this case, the barangay officials order jailed for falsification. Grabe, pati mga, mga barangay officials. So it says here, five officials from barangay 48 in Kalahopan were found guilty of falsification of public documents for forging. Five barangay resolutions. Pinapagbayad sila. Although, ano lang, minimal lang, no? 2,000 pesos. Pero imprisonment naman ng six months to eight years. Medyo matagal-tagal rin. So, anong solusyon nito? Of course, we have to use barcode. Yan. Then, the QR code, the quick response code. And also, the OCR. Yan, di ba? We have the optical character recognition. And, of course, which we will be discussing later, this, the digital signature. Yeah. Historically, society has relied on signatures to ensure authenticity. They used signatures over 5,000 years ago with intricate seals stamped in clay tablets to endorse the writings like marks, stamps, and seals. So various techniques have been introduced to eliminate the issue of document forging, namely the cryptographic hashing, 2D codes, digital signatures, and the optical character recognition. Yan. So what is this PNTKI? Ano ba ito? So if you notice, this is from the Philippines. Philippine National PKI. So this is our own PKI. So P, it stands for public. Public because these are documents meant to be shared with the public. So, public key talaga siya. Letter K is a key. The key because it's the same as the keys we use to secure our important belongings. And the letter I for infrastructure because it's just like the basic physical and organizational structures and facilities. Diba? Parang building, then we have the roads the power supplies needed for the operation of a society or enterprise. Yeah. To be able to have reliable and trusted transactions online, the parties they are transacting are communicating with. Using the PKI, the digital certificates provide an authoritative way to prove sorry, to prove that parties to an online transaction are who they say they are. Yeah. So what is this PKI used for? So PKI provides mechanism for trusted online relationships by ensuring security of digital data, digital data and transactions by providing authenticity, speciality, integrity, and non-repudiation. So let's start. Authenticity. When we say uh, sorry, when we say authentic authenticity, authentication in computing means the process or action of verifying the identity of a user or process. We are used to using username and passwords, right? But that doesn't prove who you are. It only proves you know of valid access. So for digital certificates, this contains information about us that can be used 
So determine if you should be given access. Yan. Example dito yung uh, public, public, free public Wi-Fi natin. No? Where you also have to log in. Next, we have confidentiality. Confidentiality is the state of keeping or being kept secret or private. Through encryption, documents encrypted by your public key can only be opened by your partner private key. Since only you have a copy of your private key, only you should, uh, sorry, only you should, should have a copy of your private key. Only you should be able to open documents encrypted with your public key. Yeah. What about this one, integrity? So integrity here means knowing if the document has been tampered or still in its original state. It is nearly impossible to tamper with digitally signed documents. Changes to a digitally signed document remove the digital signature. What about non-repudiation? So it's the assurance that someone cannot deny something, or oh, denial stage. Typically, non-repudiation refers to the ability to ensure that a party to a contract or communication cannot deny the authenticity of their signature on a document or the that they originated. Ayan. So ito po ang sample no, na isang digital certificates. Ayan, that is my personal digital certificate. So if you notice, nandiyan po yung pangalan ko. So this also contains information about the certificate authority. Who issued, who issued this one? No? So info about individual, yung office ko. Ayan, so Department of ICT. Anong date siya binigay sa akin? So that's June 4, 2019. And mag-expire siya after two years. That will be June 3, 2021. Meron din po yan siya serial number. Siya yan. May serial number pa yan. So very unique po ang ating digital certificate. So I will now give you a demonstration of paano natin mapipita ang ating digital certificate. So before I give the demo, let me show you first how it's done. Of course, first, yeah. How to check a digital certificate. So, mas maganda po sa Firefox. We'll open the menu and go to the options. Click privacy and security. Go to certificates and view certificates. In my certificate manager, I can check my certificates. I will cancel this one first. I hope you can still see now my screen. Nakikita po ba? Yes, po. Yes. Okay, that's very good. So, let me turn. So, here, ito yung siya, yung yung Mozilla Firefox ko. So, I'll just click on this burger menu, the open menu. Then, I'll go to options. Ayan. So, options, punta po ako sa privacy and security. So, here, dito. And, punta po ako sa baba. Then, I will click now, view certificates. No? Ayan. So, dito nakikita no, yung certificates ko. Dalawa siya. Ayan. I will click on view. Ayan. Nakikita ang details ng certificate. And another certificate, itong isa. Bakit dalawa? Kasi isa is for signing. The other one is for authentication. Yan. So I'll just continue first with my presentation. So can you see again my presentation? Okay. So tano, where can I use a digital certificate? So a digital certificate can be used in online transactions. In documents, digital signatures, in office applications, and in software developed in house. Yan, yan, yan. Yung pangalawang tanong, which I also showed earlier, you know, how long can I use the digital certificate? So, digital certificate is valid up to two years. After that, you have to apply for a new one. Yan. So, ano ba mga types of certificates na mayroon tayo? So, yan, we have number one is authentication certificate. Used in applications that require the user to log in, it can be used to encrypt email. Yeah, number two, signing certificate. Yeah, nang I will show you a demonstration later. Used to digitally sign document. And of course, the third one is the SSL certificate or, or the Secure Sockets Layer Certificate. A certificate for machines like web servers, application servers, routers, wireless fidelity devices, and others. Pero, of course, this is not yet available sa atin. So, nandiyan pa lang tayo sa first. But before I give you, no, yung mga legal basis natin, let me just uh, share with you a major difference between a Republic Act and an executive order. So, when we say Republic Act, or we call it RA, 
This goes through the entire legislative process. It must be approved by both Senate and House of Representatives and signed by the President. When we say executive order or the EO, acts of the President providing for rules of a general or permanent character, in implementation or execution of constitutional or statutory powers, di ba para sa President or even the mayors, ganyan pa. Ganyan sila. May mga EO. So, isang legal basis for the e-signatures is we have the Electronic Commerce Act of 2000, known as the Republic Act or RA 8792. So, in Section 7, the legal recognition of electronic documents, electronic documents shall have the legal effect, validity, or enforceability as any other document or legal writing. Yeah. For evidentiary purposes, an electronic document shall be the functional equivalent of a written document under existing laws. Another one is we have the Electronic Commerce Act of 2000, the RA 8792. Ayan, ano naman ang sabi dyan? No? Sabi naman dyan, in Section 8, Legal Recognitions of Electronic Signatures. Electronic signature on the electronic document shall be equivalent to the signature of a person on a written document. Ayan, no? Same sila ng equivalent. Another basis is the Executive Order 800, sorry, Executive Order 800, sorry, uh, I lost it. Executive Order 810 Series of 2009, Section 4, Application of Digital Signatures in E-Government Services. All government agencies and instrumentalities providing e-government services to its clients shall require the use of digital signatures in the respective e-government services. So, ano bang structure ito? So, basically, we have here, as per EO 810, the Root Certification Authority shall be operated by the National Computer Center, which is now the Department of ICT. As previously mentioned, the Root CA shall issue and manage certificates to accredited government and private CAs and shall also develop and prescribe technical standards for digital signatures in collaboration with DTI. Ayan, sa DTI, no? DTI PAB, or the Bureau of Philippine Standards, PBS. So, ayan siya. Let's continue. Also, there's a Supreme Court ruling, Supreme Court Rules on Electronic Evidence, that's AM. When we say AM naman, administra administra administrative matter naman yan. So, ini-issue naman yan ng Supreme Court. So, we have administrative matter number 01-7-01-SC, Rules on Electronic Evidence. So, Rule 6, Section 1, an electronic signature or a digital signature authenticated in the manner prescribed here under is admissible in evidence as the functional equivalent of a signature of a person on a written document. No? Parang ganun So, we have here now the digital, uh, sorry, the digital signature. So, digital signature, it refers to an electronic signature consisting of a transformation of an electronic document or an electronic data message using an asymmetric, asymmetric or public privacy system such that a person having the initial trust and transformed electronic document and the signer's public key can accurately determine. Yeah, diba? Sa ating mga certificates, that maganda yan. So, ano ba traditional flow? Sa traditional flow, first, diba, ito ginagawa natin ngayon, for example, kami sa office, no, when we say, we need a certification from director, so that, you know, before the PK, that was like, ano ba, three years ago, five years ago. Or sa, I, mean, I would assume, no, sa inyo dyan, sa ibang agencies, no, but ganit pa na ginagawa. So first, nag-create, diba, ng, let's say, a document, then, piniprint. Let's say, assuming, no, isang communication to an LGU, diba, si, let's say, si mayor, ay bibigay siya sa mga barangay, so, ginagawa, ginagawa ng sekretary niya, then piniprint. Then, pinipirmahan niya, he signs it, then, ano mangyayari, i-scan natin, di ba, using a scanner, then, ipapadala or i-share natin. So, yeah, di ba? I'm sure familiar tayo, we've been seeing executive orders, no, regarding sa ECQ or the community quarantine natin, no, nandiyan si share sa mga Facebook, pero hindi natin alam, no, if it is uh, authentic, no, kasi siya, pero yan, ano lang siya, eh, document, at saka image lang siya. So, yan siya ang dati, no, so, one, two, three, four, five, five yung steps. So right now, no, with the digital signatures and certificate, paperless na po siya. Less paper workflows. 
Yeah, tatlo na lang. Ginagawa ng secretary ni Mayor, then pipirmahan niya ni Mayor, tapos isishare na natin. Yeah. So, with this one, so less paper na po siya. So, now, digital signing has been financial benefits. Ano yun? No, Makakasave tayo dito. It reduces cost of paper, ink, and of course, printer. It reduces cost of manpower time in servicing forms, contracts, and applications. It also reduces costs of transportation. Diba? Especially ngayon, no? Wala tayong transportation. The right, postage, career services, and traffic and customs delay. Reduces cost of delays in signing, transmitting, approving, and processing. Also reduces cost of maintaining physical storage, digitization, and archiving. Reduces cost of fraud, encoding errors, tampering, modification of signed documents. And finally, it reduces cost of loss of reputation, credibility, due to security leaks and breaches. Yan, di ba? So, dati, ganito ang nangyayari ng maraming paper. Example, if you want to ask for a document, hanapin pa yan, let's say, sa HR. But now, yan, social na, no? It's now digitally signed. Yes, yan. It can be sent through email from one party to another. Para certificates you later, di ba? We will be sending it to you through email. But it is digitally signed. And I will also show you later about that. So, let me show you some samples now, yan. I'm sure, kilala nyo si Michael Picardo, no? He's one of my office mates here in Taklaban. So, yan. Kasi every day we are required to submit a daily plan and accomplishment report. So ito siya last April 2020. So first, pinirmahan niya. He's from Tacloban. Tapos in-email niya sa akin or through the Google Drive. Then I opened it na sa computer ko. Pinirmahan ko ulit. Then we sent it to Cebu City. Nandiyan kasi yung cluster office namin. I will show you later how we will we can authenticate it. Yan ang isang sample. No? So it is time stamp. So yan, nandiyan. Yung pangalan niya, tapos kailan niya pinirmahan niya. 2020, 420. 2.44 p.m. Ako naman, no? So, 6 o'clock na kasi alam na. Busy, busy ang mga beauty natin. So, another one, my certificate last year. No? Because last year, um, we conducted or we joined a training of trainers web implementation using WordPress content management system, the CMS. We hope also to give this similar webinar next time. So, ayan. It was our cluster director who signed this one. So, Lay Sapriano L. Augusto Jr. So, ayan. Digitally signed by him. Nandiyan din yung full name niya. No? Even his middle name, Las Pinas. Las Pinas, I mean, so nandiyan din. And finally, ito po ang certificate natin ay pamimigay sa inyo. Yan. Nandiyan ang pangalan ni Joshua L. Yazar Doman. Kasama naman namin siya from Cebu, from the ICTC. I'm sure familiar din kayo sa kanya. So, I will sign it, di ba? Then, pipinahan mamaya ni Director Leo. Okay. I-exit ko muna ito. And I will show you now some sample. Open natin. I hope you can still see my screen. Okay, so here, first example, ito yung daily plan and accomplishment report ni Michael. Maraming siyang ginagawa sa isang araw. And also pala no, sa mga scholars, if hindi pa kayo po nagpirma, no, mayroon tayong bagong survey, deadline, deadline bukas. So paki, paki ano naman po, no, check nyo sa email at saka sa chat kasi I'm sure kinatangin. So in my case here, no, I'm using a DigiSigner. Parang Adobe Reader pwede rin ba? Digisign ang gamit ko, which is din ang nire-recommend namin no, to check the digital sig signatures. If I will click on Michael's name, i-click ko siya, lalabas ko. Ayan. Signature is valid. Signed by Picardal. George Michael Hong Kiang Po. Ayan, nandiyan. Kita, sino nagpirma? So, hindi niya pwede sabihin, hindi niya pinirmahan ito. And then, I'll click show certificate. Makikita po yung details ng certificate. Ayan. Common name. Then, Michael Picardal. Taga saan siyang unit. IIDB, so ICT Industry Development Bureau, the ICT country, Philippines. Yeah. Kikita din yung kung valid pa yung digital signature niya. And of course, click ko rin yung sa akin. No? Yeah. Kikita ko rin yan. Signature is valid. Signed by Claire P. Fernandez. Yeah. Tingnan din natin. Show certificate. Sabi dyan. Yeah. Claire Fernandez, Visayas Cluster 2, Department of ICT, Tacloban City, Leyte. Yeah. Mas marami sa akin. Kasi ay, ano ko ito eh. This is my digital signer. If you notice here, mayroon siyang summary, di ba? Ano yung date niya? So, kailan siya pinirmahan ko na dyan sa timestamp? So, valid the summary. The document has not been modified since this signature was applied. Yeah, kasi ako yung last signatory. The document is signed by the current user. Ibig sabihin ako. And, 
signature date and time are from the clock on the signer's computer. Yan. Ibig sabihin, no, kahit hindi ka online, pwede ka magfirma ko ng digital certificates. Okay. Next sample, we have, sorry, this one. Ayan. Ito po yung certificate ko, digital, my digital design certificate during our training of trainers for WordPress. No? Take note din no, sa mga local government units. No, I mean, uh, we have this uh, free domain name and domain name and hosting no, sa DICT. Just check out also our website. So with this was also digitally signed by Director Leos. If I will click on his name, yung firma niya, nandiyan, nakikita dyan. Signature is valid. Yeah, signed by Director Leo. Yeah, then I can also check out the show certificate. Yeah. So in that case, mamaya, no, di ba, mimigay kami nito. Ayan, ito yung pinakahihintay nyo. No? I hope hindi lang ito ang reason why you attended our webinar, no? We hope that you also want to know more about this digital signature. And also later, no, pwede rin kayo mag-apply. We'll also show you how. At saka libre lang naman, no, walang buy, it's free. So, wala, tayo, wala tayong problema dyan. So, ito yung certificate natin yung ibibigay mamaya. So, certificate about attendance. No? You might ask, bakit may ano dyan? So, na dyan sa DICT, yung ICT Industry Development Bureau namin, then the Philippine National PPI logo, and the ICT for the People. Si ICT for the People po, ang um, is a group of scholars namin, no, graduates ng digital PH program namin, and tinutulungan namin sila. So, they are, they are also a partner of this web webinar. So, this certificate of attendance is given to yung pangalan. So, ako mismo, because, di ba, we have like a, 362 na nag-confirm and like 237 who are now here, no? Mamibigay kami. So, isa-isahin po kayo namin yan. So, we will put your name. And then, example, in my case, I will sign in. So, ayan. I will just click sign document. Then, I'll click there on dyan sa top ng pangalan ko. So, kung ano kalaki yung ilagay ko kung parang box, ganun kalaki yung firma ko. Or, yan. After I click that, lalabas itong apply your signature. So, nandiyan na, no? So, anyway, I already set this up. So, ano ko na lang, I will sign. When I sign, take note, maghihingi po yan ng password ko. So, I will input it now. So, ayan ang password ko. So, I will click on OK. I will click sign. Tara. Huh? Oh. So, ayan. So, ayan. Napirmahan na siya. See? So, ganyan po siya. Bakit tanongin niyo mamaya, OMG, ang dami pipirmahan nila. Ni Director, no? 237 certificates. Okay lang po yan. Kasi, Pero itong batch signing. Ibig sabihin, no, lahat na pipirmahan mo, example, in my case here, no, dito, yan. Let's say, yung 300 plus, mag 300, 200, kasi 250 lang, 250 lang yung sa Google Meet, di ba? 250 ka tao, so ganito siya. So, ilagay mo sa isang folder, just open one, for example, assuming lang na hindi pa, all na pirmahan ko nito, let's say lang hindi pa na pirmahan, sample, this is just a sample anyway. So, yan, no, so pwede po mag-batch signing. Ibig sabihin, no, kung yan ang certificate, assuming hindi ko pa na pirmahan yan, i-click ko lang sign document, Let's say, I will sign it here na lang sa taas. Just to show you the demo. So sign, I'll again fix my signature, my password and name. That, that. I will click on OK. Then sign. Or na medyo mabagal pag sign. Yan. So yan siya pag isa lang. But what if gusto mo pinamahal lahat? So click ka ulit ng sign document. So let's say, dito, siya, dito ko na ilalagay sa may taas. Dito ka sa batch signing. Yan. Yan. Nasaan daw ang, ano, ang directory ng certificates? So, nandiyan. Pinawa ko lang siya sa desktop. So, I will now batch sign. Yan. Are you sure you want to sign and override your PDF files? Yes. So, yan. O, see? Ayan. Pinipirma-pirmahan na niya lahat sa isa. Ibig sabihin, pag buksan ko yung ibang documents, may mga pirma na yan. Kasi yan ang laman ng aking folder. Yan. I hope naintindihan natin, no? I, please tell me lang if I talk too fast. Okay, I will now return to my presentation. Kita, presentation. Okay. After the demo, we'll start to see, no, an ad we'll share with you an advisory, yan, no? This is an advisory on the use of electronic means of prescription for drugs, diba? especially ngayon, no, sa panahon ngayon, mga doctors, thank you so much to our frontliners, no, the medical sector, even our doctors, too busy sila, so, Paano yan, no? So, we, we encourage talaga, no? So, you have this advisory. So, in relation to the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, Circular 2020-007, pertaining to the guidelines in the implementation of the use of electronic means of prescription for drugs for the benefit of individuals vulnerable to COVID-19, 
the Cybersecurity Bureau of the Department of Information and Communication Technology, or DICT, conveys to all doctors and health professionals in the country that the agency, DICT, is open to receiving applications for digital signatures. This is free of charge and is one of the services provided by the agency to help every Filipino in this time of crisis. Yan, no? so, pwede na siya, no? Ganyan na siya. Another one, no? DICT offers digital certificates to prosecutors of the inquest. Yan, sa D Department of Justice naman ito. So, so DG DICT offers digital certificates to prosecutors for the inquest. Yan, no? Nandiyan, di ba? The inquest, inquests may now be done online, sabi ng DOJ. Yan, sabi dito, no? How inquests are done? Ayan, I just highlighted it in red box, no? The inquest prosecutor will use electronic or scanned signature. Submissions of a, and approvals of the inquest resolution will be done online. Yan, so ganyan na lang ngayon, no? Ganyan na tayo, especially in this time. So, tanong. How can I have a digital certificate? Before COVID-19, kasi di ba sabi nga ni direct, which Director Leo mentioned earlier, we have been doing this one even before the, the pandemic. So, so dati, you, ca you can have a digital certificate by personally submitting an application to a registration authority. Meaning, pwede ka pumunta doon sa DICT office na malapit sa'yo. The RA will then ask for certificate authority to generate a key or code and give it to you after processing. So pwede mo lang sana balikan or through email. But of course, ngayon, no, with the with the state of public health emergency, meron tayong additional panibagong process na ito. Pwede na siya online. Yeah. So nag, naglabas si DICT ng Department Circular Number 006 last April 2. The subject is the guidelines of, on the application and issuance of the Philippine National Public Key Infrastructure Digital Certificates for external clients during the state of public health emergencies. Yeah. No, pwede na po siyang gawin online. So, paano yan siya? No? So, sabi dito, no? The department circular details the alternative mode of e-filing of applications for external clients that provides for online face-to-face -face verification. Ba? So, hindi na pwede, pwede na hindi na personal. Ano na lang gagawin? Pwede na po siya gawin through video call, platforms at Skype, Viber, WebEx, and Zoom. So, if you want to know, I'm sure marami na kayong tanong, please visit muna no, itong Details about the PNPKI. So, dito po siya, HTTPS, colon, double slash, DICT.gov, the PH slash, PNPKI. At yan, kita niyo po yung mga, what PNPKI is all about. So, for example, if you are an individual, no, para lang sa'yo, no, if you are like, si Sir Piper was here, no, sa, sa trainer, no, kailangan niya, na, mas maganda din yung firma niya is, uh, ano na siya, digital signature. So, yan, punta lang siya dyan sa website natin, no, sa DICT.gov, the PH, then, Click lang niya individual certificate, then, uh, sorry, then nandiyan ang application form. Actually, we really want to show you this online videos, no? Kaya lang medyo mabagal ang, mabagal ang Google Meet, no? Because, di ba, yesterday we had a, a webinar, hindi, hindi klaro yung video. So, maybe later, just check it out na lang, no? The Department of ICT Philippines YouTube channel. Nandiyan, makikita mo po yung process. So, ayan, no? Download ka ng application form, download mo, then... Just fill it up, no, nandiyan po. So, individual, signing authentication, yun, ano mo yan, dalawa. At saka ito, online download. No? Hindi mo naman kailangan ng USB token. Online download na lang. But after mapilmahan mo yan, just sign it, sign it, then you can email it dito. So, if example, yung you want to apply for digital certificate, just go to the PNTK, pinakita ko kanina, di ba? Download the form. Then, pag matapos mo na yan, save mo yan siya. So, download mo, save as a PDF file. Then, send mo dito. Email the application form and scan copy of supporting documents to info the PNPKI at DICT.com. Ang Department of ICT, meron siyang two clusters. So, kung saan mas malapit kayo na location, the national sila dito sa Manila, no, they will be emailing it to us. So, for if you belong to besides cluster 2, which is the province, which are the province of Bohol, Siquijor, no, sa Dumaguete, um, we also have here in Region 8, Cebu, uh, sorry, Cebu, then in Region 8, we have Leyte, Samar, Northern Samar, Southern Leyte, Biligan, it will be forwarded to us. Yeah. So, anong, anong mangyayari dyan? So, what can happen, we as part of the PNTKI team, we will check the completeness of information and submitted requirements. If complete, the PNTKI team will send an email to set up a video call schedule for identity, verification, and presentation of original document. No, 
Gusto namin tingnan yung IDs nyo, yung passports nyo. Then also, there and then, during the video call, you will sign page 2 and page 4. And submit the signed application form ulit doon sa info.plpki at dict.gov.ph. Ayan. So, what's next? No? If you want to know more, please visit na lang po yung PNPKI Public Infrastructure doon sa DICT YouTube channel natin. So, ano yung mga benefits ng PKI? Basically, no, di ba, vastly improves verifiable identification of an individual or entity. Passwords are often, often if not exclusively, used to authorize access to computer systems and applications. A password, even one with a 10-character length, only provides 80 bits of security. And inconvenient discipline must be imposed on users so the passwords they create are not easily breached. Yeah. A digital certificate issued by the PKI will have a minimum of 2,048-bit system generated key to further ensure user identity. Yeah, no, so medyo mas na siya sa haba. Then, of course, number two, digital certificates in view on the on-to-data sufficient integrity for acceptance as evidence in a court of law. The Philippines, United States, Canada, Korea, Singapore, and Malaysia already have laws which provide the legal framework for formally recognizing digitally signed data as proper evidence for courts. Yan, ba? And this allows a document in digital form to be signed as if it were a paper document. So, ayan na po siya. So, another one, it provides significant protection against unauthorized access of common communication. So the government already relies on information communication mode or the ICT, and this is increasing. ICT, however, cannot be secured by traditional methods because of their very nature. Encryption methods being used are not regulated. Ayan. So what are you waiting for? In the state of public health emergency, working from home is the new normal. So digital certificate assures continuity of business operations and from processing of documents online without compromising health and safety. No? So, tuloy pa rin ang if you have any question. And of course, no, before we end, let me just share also with you um, another webinar happening next week. No? This is about the graphics design for beginners. Feed in po ito. No? We'll have another webinar. It will be, I think, back-to-back -back next week with uh, Sir Max. No? So, it will, it, the topic is introducing Canva Free, how I earn more than 10,000 pesos from one local client. My personal, 10 personal design tips for newbies. So save the date po, April 29, 2020, 2 o'clock p.m. The link will be available pa po on, uh, tomorrow. No? Kasi it, we have to double check. Especially na medyo mahirap na pumasok sa Tacloban. No? Kasi I have to go first to the municipality of Palo and ask for a medical certification. So ayan, limited slots lang po siya. And of course, let me share with you this one. Diba? Parang, kasi ngayon, kinakabahan tayo sa COVID. No? Here is an assurance from John 14, 27. Peace I live with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Yeah, no? So let's always cling to God's word. So thank you so much. And